this on. Very good day, everyone. Today, we have a matchup for you known as the UFL. And we got the Memphis Showboats facing the Birmingham Stallions in Birmingham, Alabama. So let's bring you that right now. Oops. Um, yeah. Still have not started yet. Right. Um, while we wait for that game to start, we've got Riga Max on my screen right now. So Needed from Suburbia. Alright. And I think we would start right now. Switch back to UFL. Having a bit of a kneel down, eh? Eh? All right, guys, I'm just gonna. Get up and return. All right. Here we go. Somebody just got their ring at midfield. See what else they're doing. Yeah, it's a kind of ceremony. I may have heard about this, maybe not. Maybe it has to come to me first. So anybody who's, you know, aware of what's going on there, let us know. Also has, I also have reorganized my bed, you know, because I couldn't sleep, and you know I decided just to restructure my bed, you know. Okay, now we got our anthem. Okay, Let's see what happens here. I bought a new camera, but it all 
and hopefully we're going to bring you this action soon. Okay. He wants her commercial break. Meanwhile, let's watch a little bit of this game named Pachuca versus Guadalajara. All right. So I was watching. Um, what's it called? Uh, Stars versus Kraken at home before going to the gym. Then we went to the gym. They were up to nothing. They scored two goals towards the end of both second and first periods. Oh, they won with a score of one to three. And they clinched the division, looks like. Dallas Stars. Yep, first in Central Division. Um, the game before, they actually got shut out by the Jets, which is our dear friend Adam's favorite team. And, yeah, that was not pleasant, but, yeah, it is whatever. Huh. Okay. Which is spring game noon at on Fox tomorrow, I think. Yep. First division title since 2015-16. I love these jerseys. A lot of people may have some different reservations about the colors, but I really love this. Yeah, for those three people in the chat, if you're still here, just wanted to tell you, thank you for being here, even if it's just, you know, scrolling on the screen. Alex McGall, or whatever his name is, for the Birmingham Stallions. this. All right, we did. All right, let's go. We're going to get this party started. Who knows if it's a party? Maybe it is a party. Let's just make sure that everything is reset. Okay. Down. Uh oh, not the challenge. Oh, yes, challenge. Guys. That mic's not very loud on the broadcast. And, you know, it's really hard to hear that interview. But we're going to get started with this kickoff. It's the show, folks. Visiting the Stallions on Fox and on this channel, we will be reacting to it right now. And a kickoff. And he will be tackled at the 35-yard line, I believe. Oh, look at that empty stadium. Yikes. Oh, never mind. It's just one side of the stadium is empty. Other side is kind of mid. And the Memphis a sack. All right, well. OBS just deleted all my hotkeys. That's great. 
but it is Shobo's ball. And the second place will be another loss. James Tensall, Paulo Thomas, McCray and Jones, the line. And then Victor Davis, Papal, Clay, Adams, and Surratt. Your core skill positions. Hold on, guys. I found it. And then looking to throw, but he is not able to. This works. Yeah, it works. Let's get you that overlay. That sexy darn overlay. And those transitions, they're smooth. The first time they were very choppy, but it's fourth and 18. And they will punt it. And the punt is away. And he will catch it at the 15-yard line. He moves through. And he is down at the 30-yard line. And that's where the Stallions will start their drive. I'm just going to do something real quick. Adrian Martinez is your quarterback. Okay, the first play is a play action, I believe. Or screen, sorry. And that's about it. Incomplete. Second and ten coming up. Memphis Showboats are one and one. As the Stallions, they are two and up. So far this season. Second and ten. Martinez throws incomplete again. Well covered. What start time is this? Football doesn't start at this time. Well, <laughs> I mean, you fell. I'm not even sure. They decided to schedule this game for this hour. See if that overlay works. If not, we're going to have to refresh it. But it is third and ten for this stallion offense. Here is a throw. Pass is caught. First down at the 49 yard line of the showboats. So far, I'm not even seeing any football. No. The UFL right now is our only spring salvation. Well, spring and then eventually summer, depending on when summer starts. And if it's still continuing. First down to number 12. Sternberger, I believe, is his name. Spotted at the 49-yard line. Oh, watch out. There's a flag. And... A run, I believe. There's a flag, though. Offside on the defense. Didn't the Battle Hawks start at this time? Just used to football starting on Sundays at 12. Well, I'm not even sure what the other start times for the other games are. 
Hold on, I'm just going to refresh this. Hopefully it works. Okay, it doesn't. First and five, a run, and that gains two yards, so it will be second and three, I believe. There's Adrian Martinez, and his offense includes DeLauro, Gray, Schneider, Johnson, Taylor, Priolo as his offensive line. Marable, Rogers, Austin, Kane, and Sternberger, his skill set. Or skill position, my bad. And the throw. And that is incomplete. Third and two. So it was second and two. And another run. And he gets across to 20 and down at the 19. Did I see you are doing a double STL stream tomorrow? Soccer and Battle Hawks. Yes, that's what I plan to do. And hopefully that's what's going down. Because, you know. I wanted to do St. Louis City F uh, SC soccer for quite a bit, and tomorrow is the perfect opportunity to do it. But, oh, by the way, just uh, forgot to say, well, after this play, which is a screen or play action, rather, and he breaks out of the pocket. And throws it, and it's caught for like five yards, I think. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to show some St. Louis love from Texas. That's what's going to happen. Ooh, I'm not sure, man. Does this knee, like, well, oh, yeah. I think he got it. I thought his knee hit the turf first. But no. He got it and prowled it for five yards. Another run for the Stallions. And that will be close to a first down. Could it possibly be a first down? Yeah. I forgot to tell you, Anthony. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. If you like the link... To this game, I could try to search it up. And we have Adam in the chat. How's it going, my friend? Yeah. Oh, by the way, John, I left you a little bit of a present for today. And here is another run, and they get the first down, and they're close to getting the first touchdown of the game, well, the first score. Yeah, how's it going? How's it going? By the way, guys, if you didn't know, Adam is going to stream uh, Canucks versus Oilers, I believe. I think that's it. Yeah, he's going to show some of his old roots, the Vancouver Canucks. And then, you know, the Oilers with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl and another run. And no game. You can't show the game, unfortunately. You, Anthony, due to YouTube copyright guidelines. Yeah, that's the thing. I once did some logos, and, um, you know, eventually, like, after, like, seven years-ish, or six or five years, I got one of my videos, well, three videos, striked. And they took down my YouTube channel. And then I was able to contact, uh, what was their name? Georgia Public Broadcasting? 
and I was able to have him reinstate the channel. He has a catch. No, it's incomplete. Third and goal. Yeah, John. I decided, you know, you're a founding father of this new era, and I decided to give you a little bit of a token of appreciation. So cherish it as well as you can. Yeah. I figured since you're here often, you really deserve it and you've been kind and unwavering. <laughs> Shovo! No! Not Shovo, it's uh, Stallions! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, what a catch! Yep, the blue wrench. Let's see. He, Martinez, is going to look to the left. I swear. I thought that I saw it being like batted out or bounce of bounce off of somebody else, but okay. The two point attempt years. And Martinez throws intercepted and that will negate the two point attempt. Yep. The blue wrench, the blue wrench, buddy. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it did bounce off the lineman, the defensive lineman, I believe. And the tight end Sternberger caught it nonchalantly. Yeah. There is the blue wrench. A testament to you know trustability and ability. And here's something I'll say about mods. Like, what I look for a mod is somebody who's respectful, kind, and willing to establish integrity. And you know, somebody who is on here pretty often. And uh, you know what? I decided to, you know, retool some of my mod uh, settings. And um, I figured I'd remove some of the mods that haven't shown up, or at least have not shown up in a while. Um, so, yeah. And then I decided to add you because, of course, of your unwavering support, as I mentioned. Okay, let's see if I can re-add this. Okay, I'm trying to fix this uh, stream elements issue. Apparently it's pointing to the next stream. Let me try to uh, refresh it while we are on a break. I also have this Mexican soccer game, this Liga MX game, while they're on a break. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to log out. Out of stream elements and then re-log in. And then I'm going to Join the bot in the chat and see if that works. Yeah. The bad thing about this is it points to another stream instead of this one. Okay, well, I guess I'll just stick to this stream then or just not worry about it rather. All right, first quarter. Another change, yeah, this is a USFL. It also is a US, oh, yeah, 
Here's the kickoff, and it goes to the 38, 39 yard line. And that's where Case Cookus, the quarterback of the Memphis Showboats, the chef, will start this second offensive drive for the Showboats. Now, this is a USFL, this is also a XFL, as well as a UFL. That's what it is. I remember one time that Tom Grassi streamed the uh, San Antonio Brahamas uh, game. I believe that's what Kirk Benkert played for. Cookus. Play action. He sacked immediately. Immediately after stepping. Oh, and he's immediately hurt. He's limping. He's just clutching his knee and it's still is kind of clutching his knee. He might get out of the game. Yeah. Um, Kirk Benkert. I remember that Tom did a stream on that. Unfortunately, he got hurt. And, you know, the desire to stream that one way. Here's a pass. And... I'm not even sure how many yards he got there, but let's see. Yeah. Ooh, that turns out not good. I guess one of his teammates was, you know, getting fallen down by one of the stallions. Yeah. Oh, I'm referring to the lead. But yeah. These guys were from the uh, USFL. Here's a big throw, and it's incomplete. It could have been intercepted or caught for a first down either way. And it's going to be another punt for this showboat's offense. My goodness. Two USFL teams. Yeah. One of them has been the most successful team in the history of, you know, spring football, as far as I know. Well, let's see how, uh, you know, 1985 or 1983-85 USFL had gone by. The punch goes away. It'll be Stallion's ball. At 15, he takes it. At the 26 or 27 yard line, he is tackled. And we're going to go to another break. And, you know, let's change it to Mexican soccer for the moment, which is still 0 0. Stalin 6, Showboat 0. All right. I want to see what the original USFL looked like. I think they only played three seasons. The Panthers, the Stars, Philadelphia Stars, and the Baltimore Stars, which I believe they moved from Philadelphia to Baltimore back then. Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're invested in the NHL, if you're a Coyotes fan, you got bad news for you. The Coyotes, they're planning to move to Salt Lake City, Utah. Names proposed for the team include the Yeti, the Mountaineers, and uh, I believe that's it for now. Well, that's all I can remember. Yeah. What teams were there? Okay. Arizona Wranglers, Outlaws, Birmingham Stallions. Okay. If the Birmingham Stallions win uh, this USFL, or UFL, sorry, uh, championship, then they'll be the best team in spring football history. 
All right. Let's see if they're off from commercials now. Yep, they are. Um, Birmingham Stallions, uh, Boston, New Orleans, and Portland Breakers. Throughout all three seasons, he played in different in three different cities. The Chicago Blitz, Denver Gold, Los Angeles Express, Michigan Panthers, New Jersey Generals, Oakland Invaders, Philadelphia and Baltimore Stars, yeah. Tampa Bay Bandits, Washington Federals, Orlando Renegades, Houston Gamblers. Okay, Martinez starts this first drive with a great completion. Close to a first down. It'll be second and one, I believe. Zamar Smith and Alex McGow, both USFL champions with the Stallions. Adrian Martinez and Matt Corral will each take turns. 2024, they might be the champion, but we're going to have to see what happens. Okay, good. Uh, and Martinez is going to take it in and just recovered by the showboats. What seemed to be a promising period for the Birmingham Stallions has quickly turned into a bit of a ugly scene right now. Can you believe that? And we're going to go to commercials again. Um, Washington Federals, Orlando Renegades, and then Houston Gamblers, which were a bar, okay. Jacksonville Bulls, Memphis Showboats, and Oklahoma Outlaws, Pittsburgh Maulers, and San Antonio Gunslingers. And those were the teams from the 83-85 period. Now, Adrian Martinez fumbled the ball, and the showboats pounced on it and recovered. Darn. How about that? Cheeseburgers. Cheese freaking burgers, man. He had one job to hold on to the effing ball. And he couldn't even do that right there. Okay, fair enough. Every team is gonna fumble. So I'll be lenient on you since you've been so good this season. The whole team. Off screen, I was, you know, coughing. All right. Still on commercials. All right. What the heck? Darn. Okay, let's get back to this game. So there is the fumble right there. Forced by number 45. Error. Ball at the Birmingham 41-yard line. This is a gimme for the showboats, perhaps, if they can piece this out. Here's a completion for five yards. It'll be second and five. Showboats. Simply. Simply. 
simply whatever it says. All right, three on a flag. The neutral zone infraction on number 95, I think, of the sounds. I'll get to the first down, uh, showboats. Fresh set of downs. And here we go. Let's get this covered. I'm going to test all of my overlays just to make sure. And here is the throw. And it's caught. And it's going to gain about 8 yards, I think. All right, second and two. And the snap. The play action. The throw. The catch is not made. And it's third and two. If I'm the Memphis Showboats, I'd probably, you know, run this. Three people in the screen. Thank goodness for those three people. Let's see how this offensive line is playing. I want to see. Okay. Play, play, fair. Here's the catch. It's made. And he walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Mm. Memphis Showbolts have scored and tied the game pending well not pending they have tied the game and now they might take the lead pending the extra points or not extra points a two point attempt if they attempt two points oh it's gonna be a one point attempt And he throws. He's nowhere to be. Oh, uh, you know. He failed miserably. That's all you need to know. And it's tied at 6-6. Six six. With 56 seconds remaining. And this Memphis Showboat's Huckus is really cooking after that fumble. Which cost the Stallions quite a bit of momentum. Some of these graphics from Fox are still rough. We go to another commercial break. Alright. See how this transition looks like. Uh, This is the 0.5% speed. Anybody else in the chat who has not spoken yet, let us know if you're rooting for anyone in the UFL or if you're placing any bets, which I personally don't, but a lot of people do.
Okay, this doesn't look too bad. All right. Let's see if we're back from commercials, friends. Oh, and I did not forget to put this guy in the frame. Me. <laughs> Birmingham Stallions, all access. Reconnection successful, let's go. Yay. Six and six and 56 seconds. Count out that. And out the five. And now this kickoff goes to the 31 yard line, I believe. Krakatoa says Metro. How are you doing, Metro? How's your day? Surely it has gone great. Sound like a robot? You're not the only one who said that. A classmate I had a few years ago, he also said the same thing. And Birmingham scored 6 nothing. I see. Well, Adrian Martinez fumbled the ball, and then one of the linemen. All right, looks like they're going to kick this again. The heck? Why are they kicking this again? I'm not sure. Wow, she was a score. Coughlin, or however you can, no, it's talk, Coughlin. Did you get a new mic? Yes. Want to see it? Here's what baby T does. Wait, they're saying take off, and it's going to the 50-yard line, well, the 49-yard line. And for that point is where the Birmingham Stallions offense will start their third drive of the game. I figured that my headset was not efficient enough, so I decided to get some. It sounds still echoey. It does. I can try playing around, play around with it. No. If this is another setting, let me know what setting is best for you. Here is a run, and he gets across. The 50, and he gets the first down and out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Oh gosh, I forgot to do this. No, no, no. Let's go on the Get that swing. Now it sounds great. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for telling me. Oh, I do. What did I do this again? No. No, that's not what I did. Something happened. Now we need to see. Oh, yeah. I actually bought a camera and I'll show it to you after this play, which is a big throw. Touchdown! Stallions! Mm -hmm. Stallions scored a touchdown. That was a big, sexy throw. From this, from Adrian Martinez, with two seconds remaining in the game. Oh my goodness! It couldn't have been any more perfect. Okay, all right. Let's get rid of this. Are they going to go for two, or are they going to go for? Uh, One. Okay, there we go. For some reason, it switches on my screen. Okay. How's it going? 42. Sally's are taking the lead. Swells to 16. And they're going to get this two point attempt. Martinez 
throws and incomplete. So do not get it. Just came from Rhino Nation. How is Rhino Nation? Oh, before they kick off to the Memphis Showboats, let's watch a little snippet of this Mexican soccer game. Four more minutes for that first half. Number 17 of the Stallions is who scored. Too bad there's not somebody from Italy. Maybe there is. But there should be an Italian guy on the Stallions so they can call him the Italian Stallion. Found Adam at, Rhino's, at Rhino Nation. And now it's 70 subs. That's, that's freaking fucking good. As Adam, not Adam, uh, Tom would say. At the 25. And now he's going to go down at the 35 yard line. And that will be the end of the first quarter. Your score is Showboat 6 and Stallions 12. This game is also going to a break. This uh, Liga MX game Pachuca versus Chivas. We're going to get a corner here first. Jesus. Did you see the Metro show yesterday? Well, I tried to look, but I didn't see anything. No live stream, no link, or maybe... Was there a Metro show? Or was there a Metro show? I'm not even sure. I tried to look on your channel to see if I could, uh, if I could, you know. But I didn't see no stream, no anything. And, you know, if there was some Metro show, then I missed it. I'm sorry. I really apologize. On Bad e Hub. Hmm. Another Raven. You know. Yes. Oh. Bad e Hub. You mean that webs and of course you're kidding, but Batty Hub. You mean that website that's abbreviated with the same initials as potential of hydrogen? Oh what the heck? It's actually a website. So never mind. That's actually um, not the safest site to look at. But I looked at it for you guys in case you need to know what it looked like. Let's just see it's an SNS trip. But that's it. That. And um, Serial commercials.
And we're going to start the second quarter right now. Stallions, Memphis, uh, the Starnin, man. Mm. Okay, uh, the UFL uh, vice president of officiating. It's his. For, it's it's his birthday. He's given a birthday cake. Oh, I forgot to show you my camera. Let me show you this camera, which I bought from Best Buy. And I'm not happy. And here is the throw. And stream elements still not working. It was working yesterday, but I guess it's pointing to the next screen. Uh, because John made a comment on the next screen before it started, and that's what it's displaying. Um, but it was working yesterday. I had a stream yesterday, and it was displaying all the comments. Um, second and one, in case I missed it. Let me show you this cam. It's not my favorite cam, and I'll show you why. And they take this on the run and get the verse down. Let's see. Hopefully... I'm not sure. Maybe we do use this for something. Darn it. How do I get this? Oh, come on. Get in, baby. Push then. Push. Push. There we go. Um, so I'm going to switch my camera and uh, y'all be the judge. Yeah, that's not the best camera. And you want to see what it looks like like this? Yeah, that's me, guys. It's the best for, like, a profile picture, but not the best for a regular streaming environment. It's 720p, by the way. All right, that's enough of that, and switch back to the normal camera. At least this camera, you can display it as that it's blurry and all, but we can display. Oh, they're gonna do a Philly special, sort of, but they never really do anything here. Three cameras, but no mic. Ah, welcome in, fish and football. How's your day? How was your day, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I actually have a mic here. This is my glorious mic made from, made by J Lab. Here's the third and five for the Memphis Shell votes. And focus, I believe that's name is gonna take it and run it. And fly out the way. Uh, yeah. What's up, dude? The sky. The sky's up. I couldn't have asked for a greater uh, week than this week. It was my birthday. Use this mic, brother. Yes, ASMR style. Look up. Yeah. I could use it for ASMR. Okay. I think they call something on the offense. They're going to put it. All right. All right. I'm going to look up uh, Kabuto or Kabuto. From Naruto. Naruto. Oh. Why does he have a python growing out of his belly button? What the heck is that? Well. Otherwise, he would look normal in normal conditions, of course. Okay. Some of these are actually drawn differently. Darn pythons. Okay. 
Alright, so they are going to enforce the penalty. Third and 15. Throw for the showboats. And this is caught for the first down. Amazing catch by Adams. And the showboats managed to extend their drive. Like, what was that? Why did the Stallings coach decide to enforce the penalty instead of, you know, taking the punt? Unless they were going to run it anyways, and, you know, they decided whatever. But if they were going to punt it, why did they not, like, not enforce it? Here's a throw, incomplete, second and ten. Oh, by the way, guys, I added a little live here. Right here. I was inspired from one of the graphics on one of my childhood channels. They broadcasted a lot of Mexican soccer games. They're actually number two, as far as I know, in the U.S. in Mexican soccer broadcasting back then. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, zero seconds. They get it off, run, and they lose some three yards. My goodness, that offensive line did not do them any favors. Third and 12. Jim Turner is the offensive line uh, coach and run game coordinator. Do you like Orioles? I don't mind Orioles, actually. Of course, I'm not going to be able to eat them for a little bit, but I don't mind Orioles. I kind of like them, actually. Maybe some Oreo ice cream would be a little thing that I could crave at any time. All right. And another throw goes incomplete, I think. No. I thought that was incomplete. We have Oreo flavored churros here. Oreo flavored churros. I want to try that. Oh, we're going to try a feel cool. Fifty-seven yards. 57 yards. I want to try Oreo flavor churros. Um, I tried churros before in Mexico. Kick is up and it almost hit the camera, but in all cases, it is good. And it is 9 to 12. I'll tell you about the churros in just a moment. Yeah. 912. 912. Okay. Um, I had churros with uh, condensed milk and they hit the spot really well. I had them in uh, Querétaro, which is a place in Mexico. And they taste so great. They were so fresh. They're soft, chewy, and crunchy. They were to die for. Oh, did somebody come in here? You ever visit the Mayan temples there? Uh, not quite yet. I actually visited a, a different kind of temple in uh, El Salvador. Let's see if I can find the location that we visited in El Salvador, though. Oh, what the heck? Why did it send me to a random place in the ocean? Okay. But in Mexico, no. Not quite yet. El Salvador. Let's see what's El Salvador. Here we go. Santa Ana. Okay, I think my dad just came. Are you considered Latino? Yes, of course. Latino, Hispanic, Mexican, 
whatever you like to call it, that's what I am. Let's look at this museum. Okay. Would you agree that Latina girls are crazy? That's a great question. I'm trying to think. Because you know every every girl's gonna be uh, different. I guess it depends on your kind of view. But if you're talking about like whenever they take you to go party and dance, yes, they would dance very crazily. And that aspect. I guess, yes, they are crazy. And this kickoff will go forward and stop at the 38 yard line. Oh dear. For some reason, it did that thing again. What the heck was that? All right. Live control camera. All right, it's first and 10 for the Stallions. Adrian Martinez, a fellow Latino. You know your streams are relaxing to watch. Well, if you think that, uh, thank you so much. Obviously, I'm not the best streamer, and I'm not going to claim to be the best streamer myself. But if your streams make your day, it's the least that I could do. It's the equivalent to, you know, serving you a cup of tea or coffee for free. Illegal shift on the stallions. Illegal shift on okay. I couldn't I couldn't hear the referee. By the way, these mics they're very low volume. It's the equivalent of having a hot beverage. Yeah, that's what I was saying. A tea, hot tea, or a coffee, or a latte. A hot latte. Um, here is a throw, and there is the first. No, not quite yet. He's tackled two yards short. That's unfortunate. I thought for sure he was going to get the first down. Uh, second and one. Second and one coming up. They're talking on that poor short, or, yeah, shirt under the jersey. And here's Martinez with the handoff. There's the first down. Now let's see where he's tackled. At the 46 yard. Fair enough. Negative two rushing yards for Memphis. Is that that bad? Okay, Martinez with a screen. Now his runner is going to gain four yards. These guys have these walkie talkies for my school. Like, they're calling the plays on the microphones of the players. Or not, not the players. Okay, they got this walkie-talkie, and they're relaying the play calling onto the players' headsets on in the inside of their helmets. 
here comes a flag. But more importantly, here's a run for two yards. Or four yards, sorry. It'll be short by two. That's what I meant to say. And no flag. I could have sworn somebody had a um, move early. Adrian Martinez. That's the quarterback who was playing. And he hands it off to his running back who gains the first down. I think he got it. For all of y'all NFL, or sorry, NHL fans, uh, let, well, let's see if he gets it. I'm pretty sure he does get it. Yeah, there it is. That's first down, as far as I know. The NFL's using, like, this FIFA line technology thing. Where they measure where, in FIFA they measure the ball whether it clock where it crossed the line or not. Here's Martinez with a big throw, incomplete. The wide receiver could not handle it, or the tight end. Sorry, uh, Sternberger is his name. Uh, you know FIFA uses this goal line technology, where they have a computer generated imagery of the ball whether or not it crossed the line. And the UFL is basically doing the same, but with the uh, first down uh, stuff. And probably as well, goal line. Here is a throw by Martinez. First down is assured. Hey, this is name. First and ten, Stallions. Oh! 4.48 remaining in the second uh, quarter. Total yards for Memphis, 63. Birmingham, 171. Negative three rushing yards for Memphis and 59 for uh, Birmingham. Here's Martinez. What a throw. Did he catch it or did it hit the ground? It hit the ground. So that's incomplete. This Birmingham Stallions team looks very promising for this UFL. Well, the most promising. Uh, here's my glasses, by the way, if you did not see them. My Ray-Bans pink evolved glasses. Aviator glasses with pink evolved lenses. And uh, pink tips. And here is Martinez again. Throws, it's caught, and he's got the first down, and he is down at the nine-yard line. Hey, Metro. How are you doing, Metro? Hey! Hey! <laughs> I appreciate you, Metro. Sure. Victor number 16 with the reception. First and goal for this Birmingham offense. Here is a handoff, and number 23 is going to be stopped for no gain. Second and goal now, with three left on the clock for this first half to win. Remember, they still have the two-minute warning. So after the clock has two minutes remaining in the second or fourth quarters, they're going to bring it to a commercial break, and, uh, you know, the teams will rest and stuff. Snap. Martinez to the running back. Down at five-yard line. Ooh, look at that. We have 69 views. Nice. 
Nice. Do you like enchiladas? I love enchiladas. I most of all, I love uh, enchiladas verdes. Enchiladas verdes are my favorite type of enchiladas. Uh, so. The types of enchiladas that most Mexican restaurants, which they're really Tex-Mex, most of them sell, is kind of like a flour tortilla, and then they add some kind of bean sauce with shredded cheese. Would you ever go to the carne asada? Oh, absolutely. I love carne asada. It's kind of like the Mexican barbecue, so to speak. Skirt steak, um, chicken legs, and perhaps chicken thighs. I prefer chicken thighs because they're much more tender. And then the chicken breasts, of course, and uh, chorizo. I love chorizo. It's kind of like um, in Italy you have uh, salami or salsiccia, and then in Germany you have bratwurst. It's kind of like a sausage. It's really good. There's another version of chorizo called uh, longanisa, which I also like. Shredded cheese or queso. Um, in the United States, whenever they sell Tex-Mex or Mexican food, as they claim. Um, they usually put some kind of Colby Jack cheese or mozzarella cheese on it, like shredded from the bag. But in Mexico, they use queso fresco, which is the traditional way. And they also add salsa uh, verde or salsa roja or whatever salsa you like. And they stuff it with chicken or, you know, whatever. Uh, well, chicken is my favorite. Chicken enchiladas. I love enchiladas. I wish I could have some right now, but of course, you know, I have this diet that I'm following, as you all know already. Ooh, USFL Champions 2022-2023, Birmingham Stallions. Let's go! And then there's Mexico, the quarterback for the uh, Birmingham Stallions before they got moved to the UFL. Yeah, I need Mexican food. Um, I need to try to make Mexican food someday to represent my heritage well. My mom's from Mexico and dad from El Salvador. Here's Martinez. He's going to run with it. He's going to be down at the four-yard line. And what are they going to do? Are they going to kick the field goal? Are they going to go for the touchdown or what? What are they going to do? Oh, what the heck? Now it's the two-minute warning. Oh, wow. I thought they already went to the two-minute warning. But I guess not. Ooh. Mex Mexican food is some of the best uh, food. As you know, though, uh, in North America, well, USA at least, uh, some foods are not done the correct way, the traditional way. Probably to cater other people's tastes, but it usually sacrifices the integrity that those foods instilled. And, um, yeah. There's nothing you can really do but hope that they make it correctly. Same thing for Italian food. And those two are not the only examples. There's other foods that are not done correctly. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Mexican food, 
I tune into this Mexican match and they're plugging in Chipotle, which apparently does not use any preservatives and it's all fresh, which would be great to try. It's just that it's so expensive, apparently. Sweet. Yeah, so unfortunately, this camera is only 4 3 ratio type camera. 720p to be exact. Um. I'm not sure what to do with this camera. Like, you know, I want to use it, but at the same time, it's not uh, the best camera in terms of aspect ratio. I can imagine, oh, excuse me. Uh, you can imagine me having my own show on the Food Network where he tries out different dishes and see if he could make his own. Basically, like Guy Fieri. I could see that. There's also this uh, show on National Geographic, I believe. I think it's National Geographic. Well, at least on in Mexico it is. I watched it in Mexico. It features Gordon Ramsay and another guy from France and some other guy as well. They were trying different foods from around the world as well. Like, just like you said, Guy Fieri. And, uh, yeah. Man. You can't hear these interviews because this mic is... That mic they're using is so quiet. You can only really hear the announcers. That's stupid. 156 left. Oh, gosh. They... They kicked the field goal, and I didn't notice. Well, at least it's a field goal, not a touchdown. Otherwise, I would have been so upset like that one stream that I missed, like, the first few minutes of the first half. It's Memphis's ball now. And now they're going to take it to the 30 yard line. 150 remaining. First and 10. And remember, they have two timeouts. This uh, quarterback for the Showboats, his name is uh, Case Hookus. Can you imagine if he was actually a chef? That would be cool. Six, negative nine, and zero, and 13, six, seven, that's something else we did. Okay, first and ten for the showboats. Oh, watch out, he was almost sacked, but he completes this, and he gets four yards out of the second down coming up. Oh, I forgot. Memphis used the timeout. I missed part of it. Second and six. Oh, this was. Oh, okay. It's a little casing. Okay. Here is Kukas. He throws a flag as he is tackled. Well, the referee goes black. And now he is injured for good, probably. Alright, let's see what they're going to call. Oh. They're going to call holding on the offensive line. On McRae. That's going to put a dent into their touchdown quest. Not to mention that they're already losing by six points, by a whole touchdown. How about that? Memphis... At some points, they looked promising, but I worry about them a lot more than the Birmingham Stallions. Here's a catch. Here's a few yards erased. Do goo. 
Yes, I do. Have you ever had cream caramel? Um, I want to see what it looks like because I think I know you what you might be talking about. Is it like creme brulee? Oh no, it's not. Oh, it's flun. Yeah, I had that. Here's a catch. And does he get the first sound? Yes, he does. And the clock stops. Yeah. If you're talking about this, yes. My mom makes it, and it's so good. I love that. We usually call this a flan in Mexico, at waste. But, uh... But apparently it's a French dessert. Regardless of its origin, it's still good. Regardless. Here's a big start at the 35-yard line. He is tackled. And there is the second timeout for the Stalin. Uh, no, Stalin's uh, Memphis Showboats, I believe. Uh, it's also a Filipino dish, too. Yeah. I love it. In Mexico, we have it sometimes, and uh, it's usually good. Sometimes uh, my mom made it a little bit too sweet, but most of the time it's so good. It hits the spot. It hits some sweet tooth. You and I are actually not too far in terms of culture. Oh, fun fact. Um, yeah. Because uh, the Philippines and Mexico were colonized by the same... Uh, they were colonized by the same country, the same kingdom. You know, because the Spanish Empire, Spanish... Yeah. The Spanish actually conquered a lot of American territory. And that's why, uh, you know, lots of Latin America has basically the same kind of food. Well, not exactly the same, but similar kinds of food in some aspects. If you were to compare, like, El Salvador with Honduras, or Honduras, as is in English, uh, they both declare pupusas as their national food, I believe. And what else? And then Argentina, well, Argentina is actually colonized by Spain as well, but they also had lots of Italian people migrate there or immigrate for some reason. I'm not sure why, but they're welcome anytime. Uh, 57 seconds remaining for this first half to end. Memphis showboats down 9 to 15. First and 10. Oh, and Filipino is actually remotely similar to Spanish. It's actually been influenced by Spanish, which is, of course, spoken in Mexico, which is another factor. Right. Second and ten after that incomplete pass by Cookus. What a name, Cookus. It's certainly a much better name than uh, Hionk and Geeky. Here is Cookus. He throws deep and it's incomplete with 46 seconds remaining. Uh, 
let's switch back to next in socket brain moment. Okay, nothing happening there. Um, the Force Sign Mystical by Chivas. So I'm going to go check that out soon. While well, also keeping in mind this this uh, game. Third down conversions. Three for six for the show. Well, ten six yards, 10.6 yards to go. And that is incomplete. Oh my goodness, there's a flag. And my phone drops. With 42 seconds left, the referees call a flag on the play. Mm -hmm. That was my chair, by the way. Third and ten. Neville Clark of the Stallions is called for pass interference. That'll give the Memphis Shovels a first down and all. Uh, quickly, let's uh, read this play. Sorry, my thing just can't get in. Here's Cookus. Makes a big throw. Oh my goodness, what a big throw that was. And it is, of course, completed. And 28 seconds remain. And they're going to stop the clock. And clock starts on the whistle. Cookus throws incomplete. All right, let's see what this Memphis Showboat's coach is cooking for Cookus. Oh. All right, let's switch back. All right, third and three. Showboats would surely love to make this. This offensive line doing its job, it looks like. And a throw, and it's out of bounds. And it'll be fourth and three for this offense. Are they going to kick the field goal, or are they going to... Oh, they're going to kick the field goal. And of course. That was quick. Thirty four yards. Kick is up. Yeah, that's twelve to fifteen. And we got seventy eight views on this screen total. Hey man, how's it going, Rick? How sex is this evening? Uh, you're doing the math. You know. Um, Texas right now. It's a nice sunny day. Not many clouds to think about. And yeah. That's all that's all there is. How can I find out where where's the let's tune in to this last bit of the second half there's fourteen seconds. This is going to be Stallion's ball, and that will take us to the 36-yard line. 
and eventually to half time as well. First and ten. Your girls here to green Martinez. In the game. Eventually they're gonna just kneel this and just go to halftime into the locker room and think of their life choices. Okay. They took a timeout for the Memphis Showboats just took a timeout. What could it be planning? Are they going to plan a big, sexy throw? The Hail Mary, as they call it? Or are they going to plan something else? I'm not even sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Stars have clinched their division for the first time since 2016. And as Rose comes in to the chat and says, Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, Rose? Okay. It is a big throw. It's a completion. And he maintains himself in bounds with two seconds on the clock. You gotta call a timeout right here. What did you? Oh, well, no, he's out of bounds. Oh, actually, did that first foot? Get past the turf a bit. I gotta call. A review. I was saying, hey, 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 doing good. Thanks for asking. My pleasure. All right. We're going to review this play and make sure it actually is complete. Welcome back, Adam, by the way. Um, Adam, check this out. My new mic. I'm sure if I asked you this or not, but which, uh, which mic do you think sounds better? The headset that I had or this mic? Which one sounds better quality? Calgary won yesterday. And the Dallas Stars won today. I actually watched the first two periods of the Stars game versus the Kraken. And the Stars clinched their division for the first time since 2016. Okay. Let's change back. 46 yard attempt. So the call stands. Forty-six yard attempt, and it is good. Make the score eighteen to twelve for the Stallions. I don't want either team that Adams streaming to win today. LOL. I say the current mic is good. The other one is good too. Uh, yeah. You know what about the headset? Um, you can't really move with it. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it can pick up sounds like human voices from here as well. I would imagine you want Edmonton to lose more. You don't like the Canucks rose? That's fair. Um, um, 
I guess Kraken is one of the last ones. Oh. Yes. Healy. As a Calgary fan, Oilers suck in Vancouver. I hate. Just my opinion. Okay. I respect. And it is halftime, by the way, guys. So your score is Stallions 18 and uh, Showboats 12. Let's watch some Mexican uh, Liga MX soccer game. Right now, Chivas is winning against Pachuca. One and nothing. I missed the first goal. Maybe the score here. I Vancouver, I think, or Calgary rivalry. Even okay. Fair enough. Second uh, most intense rivalry since. Uh, Oilers Flames. Guess what? Alright, wait for it. Wait for it. Because Rose is gonna tell us a small fact or something. Meanwhile, I'm gonna watch this corner kick and they pass it instead of kicking it. And Pachuca maintains the answer. Okay, the ball gets away and uh Pachuca might get a hold of the ball, and that guy goes down, and the goalkeeper as well. I got it off. You know what? That reminds me of that episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, where that guy's hiding the pickles. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Pickles. Yep. Pickles. Don't pickles have like zero calories or something? I think I I heard that before from this guy named uh, Noah Pearl uh, Eats. Who is a like a healthy food guy on YouTube. Let's see. I think I got it on YouTube. Oh, Noah Perlo. Six foods that almost have zero calories. Cream, Calorie foods are on it. Like the two three pictures of ranch. Zero calories. Nobody can convince me regular ranch is worth it. Sir. Very nice. Get out of here with your 120 calorie old milk. This is. Oh, well. I thought pickles was here. Oh, there he is. Alright, here's the video. <laughs> Did it say six calories? Oh, five calories. Oh, does it? I thought that was zero calories. Oh my goodness. I've been lied to. Eighty-four views and the uh, stream. Uh, two thousand nine. Oilers lost yesterday. 
put in my face yesterday. Let's see. Oilers. 17-8, they faced the Canucks, and yesterday they faced the Coyotes. Adam, we've got to stream the Coyotes last game in Arizona because they're going to move to Salt Lake City soon. And we got to, you know, send it off in the best manner possible because sooner rather than later, they're going to leave. They're going to leave after this game and relocate to Salt Lake City. That's the craziest thing. Mitch just uploaded a video on his wide receivers. Yeah. Here is uh oh. She must want to see foul. A penalty kick. But they're not gonna get it. Calgary Flames are gonna move next year or the year after to their new arena. Hopefully. Because I've been hearing a lot of bad things about uh Scotiabank saddle though. Okay, guys, I had a little graphic that says life right there. You want to know what inspired me to do this? This. That graphic. Which also says live, but in Spanish. Okay. Uh -huh. 81 minutes. Oh, watch out. Is that offside? Oh, that was a close one. Showboats have a negative one uh, rushing line. That's embarrassing. I would not want my kids to have that. I would not want my dog to have that if I had one dog. I don't want anybody to have that. All right. So let's connect with this. And now we've got enough charge to move through the day. Oh, here's Chivas. They're gonna score the second goal here. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, well, he's offside. Eighty-three inches deep into this game. Oh, this uh, UFL again. Hey guys, how's it going, Moss? Uh, if it makes you feel better, I'm watching uh, Pachuca versus Chivas, and Chivas is winning one nothing. Uh, UFL is on break. Rose likes cukes. Oh, cucumbers, which is pickles. Yeah. Well, Rose has pickles. It was uh, her very own jar of pickles. Oh, nice. Liga MX. Wish I got. Oh, uh, you know what? There are some sites that allow you to watch these matches online. Kind of like a VIP box does. All is out. Okay. 
kind of a bummer that Canada is not able to stream those games or broadcast those games, rather. But, admittedly, the Spanish demographic in Canada is much more, uh, or Spanish-speaking demographic is much lower than the U.S., especially the southern U.S. My Bruins versus Pens tonight, and Leafs come back. Oh, Ford. Fo that reminds me. There's also Bruins and Penguins, which is currently zero zero. Let's watch that. Matthews number sixty nine. Nice, nice. I don't trust him. F up laptops. Well, if you could try to like full screen, like. Yes, it's it's not the best, but it's probably going to be your only option here in Canada. Unless somebody like TSN or CBC or Sportsnet gets the rights to Liga MX in Canada. Are they doing MLS and Liga MX Leagues Cup this summer again? Or every two years? Um, I think they might do it. Uh, well, let's see. Oh. Um, we got a lot more with South Americans and Central Americans up here. But they're going to do the Leagues Cup on the 26th of July and the 25th of August is when it's going to end. Uh, what's the name? Oh, channels. Yeah, Tigres is your team, eh? Fair enough. Did they beat Columbus in Champions CONCACAF? Um, Columbus is in the semifinals, I believe. But let me look it up to make sure. CONCACAF. Champions Cup. No. Yeah, that was good last summer. We enjoyed it, my channel. Uh, so, here's the deal. Columbus is moving on to the semifinals, and they're going to face uh, Tigres' rival, uh, Monterrey, Rayados, again. Wow. Even with Euros and Copa America, all of that. Well, and there's the kickoff, and... This ball will go to the Stallions. They went to penalties and they lost. Yep, they lost. Unfortunately. Yep, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, Columbus, man. Oh, Monterrey is good. Yeah, they beat Inter Miami. They beat Messi. Okay, here's Martinez. Wait, throw. And it's caught for the first down. Cade Sr. If that Cade Sr., then I want to see Cade Jr. Oh, yeah, he got it. I wonder if I had that. John Jansen's here. Uh, He's probably watching Saphidius and Ferb, though. We'll send him the link. Okay, wonder if I have that darn UFL and American channels here. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe they have... Well, here's a run. 
And they're going to gain seven yards, I think. You know, John Jansen? Yeah, John Jansen was in here. He's probably looking at more finnies and fur flips. We'll send him link. Yeah. Um, about the UFL, though, um, let's... I don't know. Does any Canadian broadcaster have rights to that? UFL in Canada. I know here in C or in uh well Marable, we still bring that Stallions, Birmingham. They stole the name of the only non-Canadian team ever to win the CFL. Do you know who? Trivia. Oh, the Bur uh, no Baltimore Stallions. We get on your American channel. Oh, so that would be Fox. I'm watching it on Fox right now. And then there's also UFL on ABC and uh, ESPN. And here's the run. And he gains three yards for the first down. Table. Yeah. Bonus points. Oh, thank you. The Birmingham Stallions were formed in 1983, I believe. Oh, here's a throw! And it's incomplete, but a flag is thrown. Showboats versus Stallions on Fox. Yeah, that's who they are. Fox. Such small land zones compared to UFL. Hmm. Penalty has declined, I guess. It was a holding. And negates passers gains. Well. How big is the end zones in the CFL? You don't watch Premier League much. Um, well, I never get up at the time they're playing. I always end up getting up. Yeah, west too early for you. You west coast right. Well, I actually live in the Central Time Zone, Texas. But even then, some games I do get, but I forget to watch them. I'll try to, you know. I'll put it. I'll put that as part of my bucket list to cover Premier Premier League. Fifteen, but not square. Regular end zones, not square. Rectangular end zones. Okay. Moss. I like cucumbers and pickles. Yeah. My mom, she makes a salad with lettuce, cucumbers, uh, jicama, which is this Mexican vegetable thing, and radish. I'm not sure if I did go, well, I do go rush. Oh my goodness, 4th and 21. Woo wee! I do Gold Rush EPL every Saturdays, 8 a.m. my time, 9 a.m. your time, I guess. Central, join me. Oh. I think I saw that. I'll consider joining in. And you love Mexican food as well. Yeah. Mexican food is awesome. I love chowing down on some of their tacos and their various other foods. It's amazing. And their enchiladas and ceviche and their uh, mole and um, churros. 
5.30 a.m., the first match, a lot mountain. But I wake up, I just wake up during that. Yeah. For some reason, I, I, well, and here's another factor. Uh, tonight, I didn't sleep very good. I actually ended up sleeping at 5, but still, I'll still consider trying to make it part of my bucket list. Watch Premier League. Alright. Meanwhile, in the Liga MX, we've got America versus Toluca coming up. Chiva still got one goal and Pachuca zero. All the benches, sauces and salsas. Amazing Mexico. I have permanent time share for Mexico results. That's good. Probably making a lot more money than all of us. Ma no, watch with Moss Sports World. Yeah, such good fish. Yeah. Yeah. Arsenal versus Aston Villa tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna check what time that is going to be. At. There's a corner kick for uh, Pachuca. It's their last guess to tie it. The shot, and it's no good, and this will be cleared, and this is over. And Chivas is gonna win. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what uh, uh, time it's going to be, but I'll try to tune in tomorrow if I can. All salads, meat, cucumbers, pickles, block it. Well, just regular cucumbers could suffice. Not all salads need cucumbers. Uh, there's also... Uh, what other salad? Freaking, uh... Waldorf... Is it Waldorf salad? It's a salad made here in, in the United States, which uses nuts and apples and other stuff. Come join Premier League drama with Moss Sports World. I, I want to... Stallions trying to look like the CFL Calgary Stampeders. Oh, um, speaking of that, here they first and 10, they're going to run it, and they get to the 20 yard line, and he gets out of bounds at the 21 yard line. And uh, let's see when the Birmingham Stallions were formed. Oh my goodness, I thought this phone shut down. Birmingham Stallions. All right, we're going to see when the Stallions were formed. And, of course, Metro is back. I'm sorry for not mentioning it. But, yeah. The, oh. oh, yeah, that salad as well. Did you know that's actually made in Mexico? In Tijuana? And Rick Kane is back as well. Welcome, guy. Welcome back, guys. Yeah. Adam. You winning Winnipeg. The Stars, they got shut out by the Jets. The Winnipeg Jets. 3 nothing, And then today they come back and win the division against the Kraken. Here is... Oh, that was almost a safety. But he does get out of the end zone. Okay, the original Birmingham Stallions were, I'll let you see it here, they were established in 1982, well, they first played in, 19, well, you can see it for yourself, Jets, can they ride the Hellebuck, Blades won nothing on the Red Deer, and game two tomorrow. All right, here's a throw, and the end zone, here's a recovery, it's a touchdown, 
There's a fire in my I can sn You spelled it right right now. Uh Hellebuck, Connor Hellebuck? Yeah, you spelled it correctly, as far as I know. Alright, there is a flag on the play though. Alright. Let's check out. We have our hundred views. Offside on Carlos Davis. USFL was old Birmingham, but they had a different name for when they had a CFL team for a while. Oh. Okay. So, no touchdown. Second and ten. Here is a throw to the side, and they gain four yards. Rick Kane, at least not Kane without an I spell. Mm. Hold on, my mom is here. I'm just going to talk to her to it. I'll be right There's a throw, and he is incomplete. No, he is sad. Carlos Davis, who committed the offside, gets a little bit of redemption and tackles that guy, sacks him. You need Moss, Jones, backups. Might have been Birmingham Bandits or... Mm. Let's check it out. CFL. And this will be punted to the Birmingham Stallions. That will be at the 30 yard line, at the 40, at the 50, and 45, and down of bounds at the 41 yard line. Flag on the play, though. Okay, Baltimore FC, Baltimore Stallions. Birmingham Barracudas in 1995. Holding on the team on the right. Yeah. They called a holding on the kickoff. Marcus Mitchell. Yeah, but it's uh, Birmingham Barracudas back then in the CFL era of 1995. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Well, let's tune into this uh, Mexican soccer game and see what they're doing. Okay, Las Vegas was the posse. Like the... Uh, the Grassy Posse with Tom Grassy. Let's look at it. Uh, yeah, that's what they are. Formed in 1994. Uh, yeah, Las Vegas Posse. Um, yeah, one reason that I 
had this mic is because I wanted to be able to be heard from a longer distance in case I have to leave my seat. They had young Anthony Calvillo, the posse, and or Calvillo, because he's Latino. And the best Latino quarterback all time in Montreal Alouette CFL. Anthony Calvillo, I think, because the Latino. Papa John's. Um, let's see how this team, uh, let's see how the Bruins are doing against the Penguins. Oh, they're still on the commercial. We're on break. Yeah. Now he coaches. What team does he coach? Is it in the U or, or sorry CFL, or is it now somewhere else like the UFL or the NFL or something else? Here's the Stallions. First and ten. Big throw by Martinez. First down, wide open at the 35, and an out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Offensive coordinator for the Alouettes. Oh. Uh, that's awesome. Maybe some of that posse power rubs off on them. No wonder they won the, the Grey Cup. They had the posse in them. They had the Calvillo in them. Oh, Sternberger. That Sternberger dude has to be the best tight end. Now they're going to run it, and they'll get one yard at best. Second down coming. And nine. You know, Moss, uh, back in like 2007, all the way to like uh, 2014, I guess, some of our uh, Liga MX games were broadcast on Telemundo, which is another Spanish language uh, channel in the U.S., Here's Eric Carlson. So there's zero zero on the board for that game. Got it. Well, that goes south. No, it isn't. That's first down. I hate Montreal and Metro cries. Don't cry, Metro. Everything's going to be all right. Do I have to give you some mind relaxing ASMR? I hate Montreal. I went negative 30 or under 30 for the Great Cup, our Super Bowl, Super Bowl, and Calgary, and we won because Alex missed the field goal. Then they got too reddick because we had too many too many men on uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders. That was devastating. Maybe Adam remembers that with Grey Cup. The 13th man cup. Alright, second 12. Bruin 0 0. Indeed. And that guy gets two yards back. I'll leave third and ten again. Thirty degrees in November. Oh, they didn't give him any yards. So he just got back to the line of scrimmage, I guess. Oh well. Come on. Here's Martinez. 
Last is a throw incomplete and minus 30 degrees. Yeah. What's the coldest in Canada? In Fahrenheit. Not sure. What's the coldest it's been in Canada? Like ever? In your life? 43 uh, yard field goal. For the Stallions. And this kick is up and good. 21-12. Bills. Hold on. Well, way up Nunavut. Like 50 degrees, or negative, or minus 50 degrees, 60 degrees. Yeah. It's getting closer to the Arctic Gold. Is it called the Arctic Gold? Well, the North Pole in all cases. And then Antarctica would be different. We get here where it's going to be like negative, not minus 50 degrees, wind chill. Yeah, minus 35 can be for a while in winter. Yeah. Here's a fun fact. There was one time here in Texas where it was like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It was pretty sweltering heat. If I must say so myself. All right. Boston 0, Pittsburgh 0, 1752. Now let's see what the Liga MX is all about. Checkered and wraps. Should get some of it. Oh, America just scored. Sweet. By the way, guys, if you do not know, Adam is going to be live for the Canucks Oilers game. But West, wet East Coast. And England feels colder to me than here, where they only minus 10. Yeah, you see all the Liga Mex score? Uh, let's check them out. I know Chivas won one nothing against Pachuca, and America is winning one nothing against Toluca. Toluca is, uh, they're the leaders right now. Here's your scores. Welcome back, Rick, by the way. Is he? Oilers, Nook, yeah. Oilers into next late evening. We're doing good. We're just chilling. McDavid is sitting again. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, McDavid, they're planning on like sitting him. Atlas is a disappointing team. That's what I'm going to say right now. He needs one assist for 100. That'll be great. Does that say Nicaxa? Nicaxa won 2 nothing against Santos Laguna. Uh, and I actually streamed that yesterday, but I had to delete it because I didn't like the way that I looked. Yeah. Maybe if I do an HL from the perspective of a fan instead of a commentator, I'll do a lot better. First and ten for the showboats. Let's change that marker. Here is a handoff. And he's going to gain two points or two yards. 308 left in the third quarter. Here 
here is a throws, and he gets the yarn. I had to go send my son to live with one of my in-laws, by the way. So he would like to get away from my sister. It's, oh, that, that sounds pretty awful. I played their U-20 team for Saskatchewan down in Denver when young Nikatsu were evil little dudes. Uh, yeah, sometimes teams can be evil. But, and his brain wouldn't let go of what happened. Let what happened go. Yeah, that's the thing sometimes. People tend to like hold on to things. Some people do not think. But one thing's for sure, the showboat's offense is not doing very well right now, as this guy got sacked. Yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, just wanted to, you know, provide you with uh, condolences. Well, I'm not sure if that's the correct word on, on word. I guess the best wishes is a better word. But either way, I hope you do better. Okay, here is a punt for the showboats. That'll be Birmingham Stallions ball. That's 15. And he goes further. He goes to the 25 yard line. Just about NFL level. By the way, we can't ban her from coming to a place. Since dad is 91 or 91. Yeah. It's what makes playing with this feels like. And my mom won't deny her from seeing my dad. Sounds like a pretty difficult situation, man. We beat all American teams, but Nikatsa owned us. By tricking our guys into red cards, it was wild. Sometimes that's uh, what makes them successful. Uh, and you know what? Chivas actually played in 2005 against Boca Juniors from Argentina. And uh, this Copa Libertadores uh, tournament. And what they did is Boca Juniors was all cocky and stuff. Oh, it's 2-1 to one America! And Toluca has one goal. Oh my goodness. Anyways, they were playing this game, and uh, Boca Juniors was making fun of them. They were insulting them. And eventually, they were shut out the whole series. The first game, Chivas scored four, goal, four goals. And then the second... Or sorry, the first leg, they scored four. And the second leg... They scored zero. Boca Juniors scored no goals during any of the legs. And then tensions boiled, but Chivas moved on. Yeah. And I, by the way, I know I told you this before, but every time he'd go there, he'd bully, mock him, yell at him, and also call him the R word. We wonder why the other clubs were cheering for us. Mm -hmm. This part. Yeah, Rick, what I would do is I'd just call the police. That's what I would probably do. Oh. Cyber's going to be. Because they all got screwed by the Mexican teams. It's tough. Guadalajara U-20 team was there at this international tourney. Yeah. Uh, did you know Mexico, one of their sub-teams, or under-whatever teams, won their World Cup against uh, Uruguay? I can't remember what exact team won it, but... They did win it. Here's a throw by Gonza or Martinez. Oh! It juggled in! And he made the catch. That'll be first down. Rick says, that's why he now lives with one of my in-laws. Um, 
Yeah, I don't blame you because I said we can't ban her from coming since my dad is soon to be 92. Well, yeah, but you gotta do something about your the husband because eventually you're gonna be stuck with him if you don't do something. And if, and if you and if it becomes too late, you're gonna live as a sour human being. And that's not what I want for you. I want you to be peaceful. By the way, there was a run by a person junior for a second and five. Twelve seconds, eleven, ten, for this thing. I'll deal with it once my dad passes. Well, uh, what else could I say? Um, here's a, another pass. He got a first down right there. Mexico has won soccer Olympics before U23s. Basically. I cannot get into this UFL. Well, maybe you could get into the NFL when it starts in September. Yeah, since I don't think he'll, I'll make 100. Well, it is what it is. If your kids could, like, subscribe to some kind of anti-bullying type of program at school, at least, then maybe there's a chance that they could do something about them. The abuse. I just hope for the best. That's all. And you're not baked into UFL either. Yeah, fair enough. It's like, uh, UFL, oh, the Bruins scored. Let's see this. Son is 19. Oh, so is he going to college or is he in the workforce? Jake DeBrus scored. Jake DeBrus, baby. I did not sleep well today. Neither. No. Okay. He has autism. No. No, no that's my Yeah, well, it's We're working on getting him a job, but he has to have an aid. Yeah, that's tough. But I'm sure there's a job for him out there somewhere. Even if he doesn't get to, like, uh, whatever, like, uh, interact with all the people. There's a place for every person. I am NFL, own it, LOL, Dolphins, my team, but I bet it, I own Fantasy, actually, and I do Red Sun every Sunday on my channel, maybe duel if you love NFL, who your team, and draft a pill I will do with Mace Taggart's expertise, or Taggart's, or whatever I mean, it's pronounced, appearance in my channel together, most likely, my team is the Dallas Cowboys, so I know what you're thinking, ill the Dallas Cowboys, I know. I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame for Jerry Jones's intolerable acts, intolerable acts and deeds. Let's see if my food's ready. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay here. Oh, you have autism as well. Oh, I th I think you did mention it. Days ago. So much autism, like so many British dads I know, they too have autistic sons. I'll show it. I'll show those comments. Now, Moss, well, here's the first down, and he's close to the end zone. He's in the red zone, though. Um, Moss, do you have any words for uh, Rick? 
He's dealing with a bit of a situation here. Uh, you know, her, uh, his sister had uh, this husband, or has this husband, which, um, uh, let's just say the husband is not exactly the best. Oh, this also be a leaf for it. That's okay. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, my goodness, here we go. A touchdown for the Stallions. <laughs> Stallions. Well, if it makes you feel better, I hate my Dolphins. Owner to Stephen Ross. Oh. What I want to know is if Tua is going to maintain such a high profile of, well, I don't know. Let's see how Tua does. You have autism, Rick? Then yeah, you'll know what's best for your son. You'll know what to do. It's a 1.10. And Martinez is going to run for it, and he's driven out of bounds, and it's no problem. Uh, yeah, that guy you talked to, Team SOS, he can help you if you need him. He's going to be alive if you want to join him. And uh, maybe everyone else could also help you as well, because this does seem like a good situation that that requires some delicate uh, procedures perhaps um, uh, oh my goodness how many felt just scored another one the offside he leaves offside i guess yeah So well, we have to sign long term, unfortunately. But I would roll him. Families so are a lot of idiots on YouTube, and of course, we've met some good ones too. By the way, he's also been fired for bullying and harassment at all of his four jobs and constantly lying about it. Well,. Oh, Where do I start here? I want to see if there's some kind of bullying report type deal that you can fill out. Okay. And by the way, there was a time where my dad did not like him at all. Doesn't surprise me. Adam, good, maybe, talk to, but Rick, you know your boy. When what, uh, what do for him? How old is he? I am sure he looks up to you a lot. In effects, I think, husband treat him in bad, then tell her, and then courts. But now he's forgotten about it. Well, if it helps you, I can get you this link here. Maybe it could help you. Maybe it doesn't, but it's worth a shot. Let's see if this link helps you. You can talk to someone at 741741 and uh, see if they can help you. They're more trained professionals than I am. Flying on the play on the kickoff. I really love to help you further, but 
there are some things that I'm oblivious about that okay, illegal block in the back room, excuse me. Yeah, but I don't want to do anything that ends up being a bad move. There's my food. Yeah. yeah. But try that website and see if it works. It's going to be a first and ten. He fed him a dangerous line. Okay. Then at that point, I'd call the police. Um, I'd file a report against him, if possible. He does not have the right to trick people into inducing substances. He made a dangerous joke about how he goes to the bathroom. Yeah, I'd file some sort of report against him. Like, next time he does that, just file a report. It's the best thing you can do. There's a third and four, and there's the first down right there. Yeah. Here's my food, by the way, Moss. Oh, here's a big... Want some tostados uh, with bean, black beans, lettuce, onion, tomato, and avocado. Here we go. Now Billy's forgotten about it. Yeah, uh, file a report and um, see if the police can do anything about it. They could open some kind of investigation. Have you tried that? Like, not even just with the police, like, any legal authority. Oh, and the Bruins scored a goal. Let's see if I can see it. All right, it's second and ten for the Memphis Showboats. Oh, it's three to one. Tristan Jari might get pulled. Yeah. If you can find a lawyer, just like Moss said, even better. But definitely do what you can right now. Because if not, it could be too late. I think someone just got injured. Thank you. 
You like empanadas, enchiladas, and tamales. I know each Latino country is a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, for example, in Venezuela, I think they have arepas. And in Mexico, it's, of course, enchiladas and tamales. And most Latin American countries also have empanadas as well. I have lots of Chileno buddies that... I played football with, yeah. Mom's made the best empanadas. I need to try an empanada. Actually, I think I've tried it before. It's um, dessert with, with some kind of pumpkin filling. And, uh, yeah. They fill it with pumpkin and it tastes good. Thirty eleven. I apologize for talking with my mouth full. Here is a sack. Oh fuck. Um, are they gonna call this song the Birmingham Stallions? They are. Some empanadas, they're also made with uh, ground beef, or in Galicia. Okay, they call it on the offense. Okay. Forget it. It's not a Birmingham Stallion style. Uh, yeah. In uh, Galicia or whatever it's called in the Iberian Peninsula, they have a thing called empanada. But it's filled with uh, tuna. I believe it's good. I've never tried it before, but I want to try it. All right, I'm not going to leave. I'm just going to get my other filling, which is here. This, this food that I have here, as we have Martinez with throw. And get five yards. This is the dish that I like to call diabetic salad. Because it prevents me from getting diabetes. I forgot to show y'all meat. As we have a second vibe or five, uh, and they throw it. Jenny, how the. 15, 16 yard line. He got a big throw. Baia, I like in España. Well, Spain. Yeah. España. Yeah, that's it. With a goal. Sorry about that. But overall, Sudamericanos and especially Mexican and Caribbean food. It's much better than Miro. Actually, my cousin Eva from Querétaro, she said the same thing. 
and her her uh, daughter as well. Her daughter also misses Mexican food, especially when eating European food. I like Italian, Spanish, and French food. And also like these Portuguese custard tarts named Bastage de Nazza. Brad Marchand, the ref. Shorthand girl. Martinez to Kane. They same UFL. Four one girls. Okay, here's Martinez. Oh, Kane. I've been seeing Cade the whole time. But it's Kane. Oh my goodness, I apologize. I want to try Paella again. I want to make my own paella, and I have. I've made it like five or six different times. I made one for my uh, aunt in Mexico and her family. She loved it. Although the rice was not as colorful as I wanted it to be. Here he's going to put it in the stallion. Stallion. Adrian Martinez with the scar. It's 33-12. Oh my goodness. I've got to change that marker. Well, your final verdict is the Stallions win. Say no more. And Europeans talk too fast and bad attitudes a lot and think their culture is better. I think Western Hemisphere with a mix of cultures is much better. And thing was just scored. I have lots to say, hopefully, after this uh, uh, two point attempt or one point attempt, whatever they're going to try. One point attempt. Did he get it? The ball is out. And the ball is loose. They're going to try. Okay, now it's tackled. No good. You can go all seafood paella, which is basically the tourist type of paella. Or meat paella, like a paella valenciana in Valencia, where they say the traditional paella was born. They use chicken or rabbit. Or you can also use pork in some places, but never use chorizo. That's their rule. Where in Texas, I only been to Austin. Um, I live two hours uh, southwest of Houston. I live in this place named Cuervaca. Which is near a bigger town named Victoria. Let's see what the score is for uh, uh, still three or one America. Yeah, it's not been to Africa. Maybe have to someday have a Ghana in. Uh, Girlfriend, many years back now. Do you miss her? Probably do. In that case, uh, take your time in Africa. My dad's from El Salvador, and we've been to his country. Uh, three times. I've been three times there. My mom has been there two times. And my dad has been there like five times ever since leaving in 1990. Yeah. Back in the day, he had 
a civil war in his hands, the Salvadoran Civil War. The ones I see in Spanish Resort Spaya were mostly fish, seafood, Caribbean ones for go to. I kind of like a mix of chicken and seafood. That's good. As long as you don't add chorizo to your paella. That's their one rule. The Espanol, the Espanoles do not like chorizo in their paella. But you're right. It's all about them getting the rice right. Yeah. As long as your paella is not overwhelming in flavor choices, it's going to be good. Showholtz is bald. They hate chorizo and paella. That's the oh, oh, and that passes office hands. Second or tail. Both El Salvador? Yeah. I get lots of friends clients for El Salvador too. So nice, good food and great fountain friends. I thought they didn't want you, I think, because they want to start ruined. Okay. You know what? It everyone has a different opinion. But yeah. So we have lots of El Salvadorans and Guatemalans and Chilenos. Yeah. How about people from like Colombia, Venezuela, Argentina, or Uruguay? I imagine you get those people as well. First and ten for the show will. Oh man, this dressing is so good. It's made with vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and uh, mustard. And it's so good. Man, Fox's volume is altering. They got a first down here, but it's so darn quiet. Something, of course, but usually and live, love usually Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal. Yeah. Sounds good. Fair enough. I guess when we see El Salvador, Guatemala playing the USA. The stadiums are packed. You're right. Yeah. Huge chunk of population from there. I will say that a long time ago, like in like 2017, yeah, I love balsamic vinegar too. Uh, in 2017, I think this was before Nayib Bukele was sworn into presidency. That was when we first saw him. Or that was when I first visited El Salvador. Um, I gotta say, 
the place where we live, the vicinity where we live, is really poor in um, infrastructure. It's like broken up uh, and rusty metal and concrete at times. I mean, stuff. It's nothing. It just looked primitive, I guess. But what can you expect? They've been under the games for quite a bit. And now Naive Bukele is making some miracles happen. And, uh, yeah. Nothing else I can say that isn't praising uh, Naive Bukele. Apparently he wants to unite the whole Central America, like Nicaragua, uh, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, and um, Belize, or, yeah. Series 4 for America versus Toluca is 3-1. Toluca is right now the leader of the league. Ooh, big foul. No, there's not. Three thirty left in this one. First and ten for the show votes. Oh yeah, just noticed late night MLS Galaxy for Vancouver tonight on your cable. Do you get it or do you have MLS Apple? I do not have Apple TV, but I want to see if they have it on uh, cable. Right now. It's uh, MLS. Oh, by the way, I'm doing the uh, double type streaming tomorrow. Galaxy and White Caps. No, I do not get it, unfortunately. That sucks. Much of the MLS is now on Apple. Stupid. That's just so darn stupid. Belize is English. Yeah, they were colonized by the Spaniards. By the Espanoles. Who like to ride on bulls and fight them. Oh, maybe most, maybe most talking to a legend. That's all right. I'm just, you know, trying to get, just trying to get to hear every comment, release English. My buddies like going to Panama. It's nice. Good women for two from all over Latina nations in Panama. Yeah. Central America can be a beauty if done right. 309 left in this game. Okay, um, whoops. Uh, Moss, in case you are sad that this stream is going to end in a moment, we've got a game with Adam. It's, of course, the Canucks and Oilers, and... As I said before, I'm going to post it in my uh, chat, and I'll read your comments right now. Yeah, it's on ours. I, because, but because we had LAFC Timbers match on, I didn't know we would get another. Yeah, TSN Sports Setup here should be allowed and should show all the Canadian MLS clubs. Yeah, most of the MLS things in the U.S., they're now only available on Apple. Even the League's Cup. Some Spanish telecast is available on here, but on cables. And that pass is intercepted. And that's going to end the game. Very soon.
Yeah, but Adam is streaming on this link right there. I agree. Reagan and Bush saw it fit to F up Central America. It's not fit. Yeah. I'm not sure what would you think would be worse. That or Lyndon B. Johnson forcing everyone to fight Vietnam. Yeah. Adam is so funny, but he doesn't know sports too well. Maybe he is a WWE expert, but not an NHL. Oh, uh, yeah. He's not a big sports analyst. Not even like Tom Grossi. He just knows the teams. He just knows that they're passing the ball or the puck. At least he admits, though, what that's what's cool about SOS. Yeah, he's more of a family guy. You going over there? Yeah, after this two-minute warning and the clock winds down to zero, and then I'll wrap up that stream. In fact, he's on right now if you'd like to go with him. I'll stick around here, though, and make sure the game ends. Lyndon B. Johnson. My nutritionist recommended me this brand of Omega-3. Oh, by the way, my mom and dad are going to some place near Galveston, which is near Houston. So they're probably not going to be here for some big portions of the day. See what happens there. Might be size muscles. You get what you get. What league you know best? NFL? I guess. Dak Prescott, the Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Patrick Mahomes from the Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kill, Tua Tungo by Loa. I know this guy who used to play for the Raiders. His name is like Luke Masterton or something. Probably an undrafted free agent. I know Terrence Steele, one of our offensive linemen. Um, Trey Smith and Creed Humphrey, two Chiefs linemen as well. Finally. Memphis show votes. 12. Birmingham. Stallions. Three, three. Yeah, NFL without a doubt. Don't mind me. How do you get 5.73k viewers? Many years were huge. I actually created my Google account in 2012 to back up my data. And then from there, I decided to, you know, upload random videos. And then I got into this uh, thing called operating systems with Windows and their startup animations and startup sounds. And then from then I looked into Intel commercials and then into production logos, starting with PBS and NAT as they were originally known as. And then I uploaded lots of TV logos, movie logos, home video logos, 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 logos. And then in 2020, I actually got my channel taken down momentarily. Oh, look out! You got a safety! 
in the Memphis showboats brought us safety. Yeah, lots of years. Yeah, I'm not quite new, but I am trying to get started on some good, good content for once and for all. Yeah. Uh, Showboat's defense just got a safety, which is one of their only highlights of the whole game. Yeah. It was production logos, PBS, and other sh like non educational shows, comedies, films, horrors, horrors. Yeah, that's basically what I did. I just started a couple of years back as the pandemic made me start, I believe. Yeah, listening broadcast. Fair enough. Pandemic, it screwed everything up. And who knows what's going to happen next. It'll be Birmingham, or er, sorry, Memphis Showboats is ball, and they carry it to the 40, well, no, the 38, 39-yard line. And I think they're going to kneel it here. And yeah, I had to restart my channel like three or four times now. LOL. I figure about why I think though. And YouTube and Google tell you nothing. Just cancel your channel suddenly. Well, when I got three copyright strikes, they let me know that my channel was going to be disabled. And uh yeah. And I was able to talk with the copyright owner to let me remove two of the strikes. And then I had only one strike that fully had to expire. I think YouTube USA much more liberal rules than UK and Canada. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, I don't know, man. Kind of sucks. The small little offenses with copyrights, they have to be taken down. Kind of sucks. It's not just uh, big companies either. You know Nikocado Avocado? He's a big guy. Yeah, one time now. Okay. He's this big guy who eats a lot of food. He also removes YouTube uh, videos that use his content, apparently. Kind of sucks. Yeah. 57 seconds remaining. It's 33 and 14 for this game. All right. Second and 10 now. They're going to have to throw, and this pass is caught for the first down. Forty-five, forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, and here comes the throw. It's caught. Thirty-two seconds. Yeah, I had a copyright warning then, so no cancel. My think where it was the front of my house. When I'm chatting on other YouTube or you know, on other channels, I piss off. UK soccer rivals and negative Guna fans. Oh, yeah. So it'll be like community guideline uh, violations then? Strikes? I guess that's what it is. And the uh, Memphis showboats called a timeout. A 
apparently mods on channels can ban you. And you get a couple of them then YouTube cancels your channels. Yeah. They're trying to protect communities. I guess people have different means for humor. Or meanings of humor. Yeah. It's... Yeah, that, uh, all I have to say to everyone is be respectful, make sure that they're, they are respectful to you, and just hopefully nothing else happens if you do get to some kind of thing like that. Flag on play, pass interference, oh my goodness, they're prolonging this BS. Oh, it's already over. They added. No, they did not add. They have 25 seconds on the clock. Here is a throw. And does he get it? No. And there's the final timeout for the for the Memphis Showboats. That a channel creators cannot fix. A lot of times we already know their moms did that. So I say be careful who you make mods. As we North Americanos much more freedom of speech. Yeah, that's the thing. Bigger channels, yeah, they don't usually think of that. And, uh, yeah, you could try messaging them. Uh, and hope for the best. The end zone for a touchdown. Mm hmm. Memphis showboats. Of course, it's going to be no good. Oh, no, no, no touchdown. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> So it's 14 to 33, eh? Well, I guess he didn't make it across. Well, this game is finally over. And this is our cue to say goodbye me to everyone. Say goodbye to Moss and all the people. Yeah. That's their final. Birmingham Stallions continue their undefeated record with a 33-14 win against the Memphis Show Bolts. Weakening color. Yeah. Yeah. Just be respectful. That's and take it easy on people and You've been doing YouTube not longer than me, though. Yeah. There's no telling how long you've been here on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to switch to Bruins and Penguins. And Adam is live on YouTube. I hope that's not uh, too loud. Guys. But he is live. In case you want to tune in. There he is. I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Bruins for Pittsburgh 2. The Pittsburgh Penguins with Sydney Crosby.
Let's see how the America versus Toluca game is going. We have a score of 3-1 to one still. Well, Moss, thank you for being here. And thank you, John. Congratulations on your mod. And uh, Rick, hopefully you feel better soon. And Adam is streaming. Rose was here as well. Metro here was well. And um, yeah, Fish and Football was here. John Jansen as well. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I'm going to sign out. I'll be on Adam's stream right now. Peace.